What are we doing today, Max? Ice fishing. How many times have you been ice fishing? First timer! There you go, dog. You carry the bucket. What do you think we should get? Some chubs, minnows? I think we're gonna do like, uh, maybe like six chubs and a scoop of minnows. We ain't got no chubs. No chubs, okay, that's fine. We got these here. Water dog. Ooh, even better. That's right. awesome. Damn. Yeah, how about, uh, how much are those? Four bucks a piece. Four bucks a piece, okay. Um, yeah, how about we do two of the water dogs then and then a scoop of minnows? Here. Throw it in the bucket, bud. <laughs> what do you think about this? They're kind of creepy, aren't they? They're like a lizard. Yeah. Yeah. I know bass love those things, Max. They do look like lizards. Those things are kind of sketchy looking, huh? Well, those eat minnows. We're going to find out, I guess, huh? I think we're good to go, buddy. You got a hut you're sitting in? We are, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sitting out there in the cold, that's for sure. No. What do you think? Thank you very much, yeah, sir. No problem. Have a good one. You too. Thoughts on the water dogs, Max? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> what is up, MFers? Welcome back to another exciting episode. I'm super, super jacked today because I got this dude with me right here. He's too afraid to uh, look at the camera. We got Max here, and he is an ice fishing rookie. He has never been out on the water. Now, another reason I'm excited, we just hit the bait shop. We were hoping they had some chubs for tip-ups uh, and minnows, of course. We're gonna use the minnows for bait, and then we wanted chubs for tip-ups. So they didn't have any chubs, but they had freaking water dogs. I have never, ever used water dogs for bait. I know bass, big bass, love water dogs. If you're not familiar, this is a water dog. Kind of sketchy looking. I don't know if uh, a bass will eat something this giant through the through the ice. No, they're like little baits, obviously. Um, it, like it does kind of look like a Komodo dragon. What's up, MFers? I'm gonna get eaten by a slot. Pretty chilly today, just like it has been every day, like the last two weeks. I don't know. At least it's over zero. It's like six degrees. A little bit of wind today, but uh, we're gonna stick some big. We're gonna stick some slanges. <laughs> I guess that's a yes. Got meat sticks and Mike and Ike. So what do you think about that? Good. Good. Heat's growing. Let's get our holes scooped out. We're ready to shake and bake. So since you're a first timer, you gotta do the first timer ritual. What's that? So if you're a first time ice fisherman, you have to eat a wax worm before you can start fishing. No. I had to do it, my dad had to do it, my grandpa had to do it. They're pretty good. No. What? I don't want to eat it. Huh? I don't want to eat it. Oh, they're, they're good, dude. They are? Yeah. Go for it. They're like candy. No, they aren't. You got to do it or we can't start fishing. They like candy? Yeah. They're, are they not real worms? No. They're real. They're alive. You got to eat one, though. It's tradition. Ice fishing tradition. No. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> Sorry, that's too easy and way too much fun. So this is you, so we're just gonna put that little wax worm on there. I know you never used a spinning rod before, but do you remember how you make the line come out? But you don't even gotta move it or nothing. You weren't hot. I can't believe you're not hot, you're always hot. I got him. That looks like the same fish. What? Did I just catch the same fish? It looks about exactly like the last one. I think we're on the school, Max. Eat it. Got him. Another one, Maxi, Maximus. There's another one down there. Be ready for him. He, I can see him on my screen. Ooh, there's a big one down there. Max's very first ice fishing fish. Hold that up. Max got himself a bluegill. What you think about that, bruh? Good? You gonna throw him back? Yeah. Yeah, we better. Let's unhook him and we'll throw him back in there. Hell yeah, brother. Oh. Just kidding, I got a fish. <laughs> Trying to send a picture to mom. And I got a fish on. Not not a big one, we'll, we'll give him my, my wax worm there, but uh, definitely super fun. We need to get you another one. They're probably looking at you right now. Got him. They're loaded, Max. He's still down there. You got it down there? Watch your line. 
Yeah, they all moved. See how the lines moved up towards the top? Uh-huh. It's because they followed it up. Oh, they're about to bite. They're right underneath it. Oh, that's bigger, dude. Oh, it's a bass. Dude, I got a bass. Oh, he's pulling. Dude, reel yours in. Quick, reel. I think you're snagged on mine, dude. Yeah, here, open your bail up. Let your line out, bud. You're hooked on me. Yep, yours is right here. I can see your jig. <laughs> oh, I thought you had mine. Here, do, are you off now? Reel, bud. I can't. Dude, this might be a big one. I can't tell. Got a slotch! Dude, he's freaking pulling. Oh, good one, dude. Good bass. Good bass. Oh, get your head up here. Oh my god, that is giant. Dude, what? <laughs> dude, that's like a five pounder. Oh my god. Dude, look at that. That's a freaking giant. Oh my god. Open your window up. So you get better lightning. Oh, dude. I can't believe I just caught that on this tiny. Oh my God. That's insane. Look how it's hooked. It's like skin hooked, barely in the roof of his mouth. Dude, that's like easily a four and a half pounder. Oh. Smoking. Dude, unreal. That is a freaking slaunch. <laughs> Dude, how I'm sick is that? To blink to see if it's <laughs> I'm trying to blink. To see if what? If, it, if it's a dream. It's a dream? <laughs> Dude, unbelievable. Alright, buddy. We're going to get him back in the water now. He like barely fits through this six inch hole. That's insane. Let him go. Let him get back. This ice is like eight to ten inches thick. There he goes. Wow, that was uh, that was freaking sick. We haven't put the tip ups up yet. We we're just gonna catch some bluegill to get started, get warmed up a little bit. And that dude that was came not by. A bill that was bluegill. not a bluegill. That dude came by and bit. Oh my god, and so sick. He... That might be the biggest bass I ever caught through the ice. He was probably very close to pushing five pounds. Unreal. He barely fit through that tiny six inch hole. I thought I was gonna have to like cut another one at first. I couldn't get his head up through it. Cold day. I'm warmed up now though. Like, yeah, if I would have caught that fish in open water, I would have been like pretty stoked because it's five pounder. But to catch something on this little tiny hook, it to catch a bass that big is freaking insane. Rare. Rare, for sure. Get him. Real. Hand line. Is he still on there? <laughs> so you just didn't, you decided not to reel that time, huh? I didn't. <laughs> Max just hand lined that one in. There you go. He's already off for you. Throw him back. Ooh, oh. you got the spike. You all right? Ah. Yeah, you got to be careful back. not to get that just side. You got him. Just do the front. You grabbed the wrong side. There are no spikes That's down there. Really ah, whatever. Bye, buddy. All right, here is the rig. I'm kind of worried he's going to set this guy off like immediately when he's water dogs that is hey there's ice on top of the bucket dude it's so big look at that thing oh my god these things are so sketchy i guess we just go through the lips all right well i guess it's time to see what he does swim away little buddy he'll probably like be up here by the surface the whole time or something stupid. I know, we're gonna go back in. All right, there we go, boom. I mean, that's not a fun sound, is it? All right, we're back, tip-ups are set. Water dog has not set up the tip-up yet. I kind of figured he would right away, but he is not. He's probably just like chilling underneath the top of the ice, which, I mean, would equal a pretty cool top water explosion. Think he's gonna get eaten, Max? Like, later, water dog. Oh, I got a fish on it. Got him. Ooh, a crappie. Not a very big crappie, but we caught a third type of species. Caught a bass. A bluegill and crappie. That's right. 
pretty little crappie. Nice and thick. What do you think? Pretty cool, huh? Hey, everybody. I told you guys you could catch a crappie, two inch bluegill, giant bass on a little teardrop. I was not kidding. See, that's your bait, right? Right there. That's a fish down there. Oh, here comes one fast. He's gonna eat it. He's got it. Set the hook. Get him. Real, real, real. That up, babe. Chewed on the wires. <laughs> He's chewing on the wire, dude. Nice fish. That's a good one. Isn't that fun playing like video games with him? Uh huh. Oh, he eat everything but the very head of your worm. Sick. Throw him back in that hole. Oh. <laughs> he flew out of the water, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Dude, nice work. All right, here's Max's spooning, spooning the minnow rig. We got a little spoon up here. We got a dropper rig, and we're putting a minnow right there. All right, drop them down there, bro. Max wants to catch a big old slaunch to puss. That's how you're going to do it right there. Mm. No, he stole it. They must just be little pecker heads. You ever seen a pecker head? Pecker head is probably for a person. A peckerhead's a person, B. Or what? And it has a beak for a head, a, a peckerhead. A beak for a head. Yes, that is exactly, precisely what a peckerhead is. <laughs> That's big. Oh! oh! Just had another bass, dude. Bass number two. God, he felt me too. I just didn't get a good enough hook in him. I'm used to just pulling up on these bluegill, dude. Yeah, that was for sure a bass. Ah, dang it. Oh, look what I caught, a little bass. It's a large mouth. It's slightly smaller than the one I caught. I got swim baits bigger than this guy. Can't hate that though. Pretty little bass, bass to fish. Bye little guy. Well, that is it. That is the end of the day for ice fishing. Max, overall thoughts on ice fishing, what do you think? Good. You like it? Uh-huh. Good. We caught a ton of gills today in that, that giant bass. That was such a freaking surprise. And that little, little tiny teardrop, we were kind of just fishing out off the end of a jetty. We didn't have to move all day. We had nonstop action. You know, I always advocate to take a kid fishing. Ice fishing is no different. You know, if your kids want to stay inside, play video games, that's totally fine. As long as they're out in an ice hut, in the heat and playing video games on that little fish finder flasher. That's one of the most addictive things. Max loved it for his first time out on the water. And as his winter break is waiting here, we got all day tomorrow and he wants to go out fishing for his second time ever. So something must've gone right today. So that's pretty sick. Tomorrow we're thinking about doing a little catch and cook video, potentially a catch and cook video on the ice. I got a new stove heater type deal. So I think a catch and cook on the ice would be super, super sick. Go drop a thumbs up if you want to see that. And uh, of course, subscribe if you like these ice fishing videos. I'm going to be doing some, some open water fishing uh, after this next week. And then uh, maybe the week after that, go out of town to some really, really sick places. But besides that, it's going to be ice fishing season, I think, for the foreseeable future. You know, we didn't get any takers on the big water dogs this time. But the good news is we, we kept both of them. We still have both. They might find a home in, in Dab's tank with him if we don't find a good time to use them anytime soon. Tomorrow, we're taking them. Tomorrow, we're going to try to catch a total donkey on the big old salamander mud dog sorry mud dog and uh yeah i can't wait freaking sick time in the water today take a kid fishing i'm out of here peace i'm not sorry i can't help this love like mine <laughs> <laughs> i'm not sorry i can't stop with a love like mine i can't stop with a love